None of that goofy shit. Right. None of this ain't no fake shit and definitely ain't no bitch ass shit. I want you to blank that out when it first come up. Hey, and it's definitely ain't no bitch ass shit. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Everything you get here, this is really DW Flame. These are my co-hosts right here. And plus, I got a special guest in the motherfucking building. What's the word? Come on. <laughs> That's how I, you know, <laughs> what's so my dog? Nigga said, yeah, cut it out. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Most definitely. How are you? We got Nick Cannon. We got my brother in the building. He came to show love. This the opening show. Love this the inaugural love. episode love. of. Yeah. The CEO the show. The CEO show. Creating every opportunity. There it Most is. definitely. Community so, elevation organization. Hey, that's a nigga called me last night. Like, nigga, I told, <laughs> I told him my my show uh, name yesterday. He like, nigga, if you don't call that the CEO show. Right. I mean, he ain't that's coming. That's the movement. That's right. like, right. I mean, again, right. that's CEO what the you, you, right now. you right. elevating. Right. You know what I mean? You get right. you you doing something different. Appreciate you. Than everybody else. You know right. what I mean? Like, you, you got access to, to minds that most people don't. People look up to you, man. So you might as well give them something, you know. You, you can get, you can get with the bullshit if you want to, but the fact that you had the ability to elevate, then you got to get. I don't even it. want to. Right, right, right. <laughs> You've been through it. Hey, what's right. so crazy is last night I'm getting the show ready and and things like that. I'm talking to Josh. Josh, <laughs> Josh, one of the people that run things around here. Josh, like, you really bring a Nick tomorrow? I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you ain't believe him. I it's not that I didn't believe him. We had just been talking about the show literally all day, and he hadn't mentioned it once. And oh. all of a sudden, he had a new name. He told me you were coming. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. is this the right text message? Like, I just wanted to make sure that we were talking about the same I'm thing. I'm like, what the fuck? If I say Nick coming, then he coming. Yeah, <laughs> he called me. I know he coming. I thought you was capping. Most deaf. Okay, so now that we got you here, a lot of people want to even know, you know, um, what type of vibe we got. You know what type of relationship we have mm. as i tell a lot of people you my brother you know what i'm saying um, real spill so with the artists like me and even hitman justina even dc yeah what was your angle with putting us all on like or even just giving us an it's avenue a, it's opportunities more than anything like i wouldn't even say putting put nobody on man i just recognize when people got something special. I mean, I think that's one of my gifts is to recognize other gifts. Mm. Right. And then when you see somebody got something in it, you just want to cultivate it. So, I mean, you got a real movement going on. So I was like, why not? It makes mm. sense. And and then you, it ain't even about talent. It ain't, it's more about character. It's mm. more about when you recognize somebody solid and because what that's going to do is once you get that person an opportunity, you know, they're going to give others an opportunity. Right. So, like I said, man, you're a leader within your community. So it just makes sense. And just so happens to be that you was a, a dope MC and, and, and a real one at the same time. And mm. that, you know, sometimes that don't always match up, but that's where the star power stuff connect. But the same thing with like anybody from if it's some some kids I sign or like you said, from the DC young flies of the world to all of those people, I've always just wanted to give people an opportunity, especially because a lot of times I was just the only cat doing shit. Mm. So then to be able to be like, like I want to see more people like me, more people from where I come from get an opportunity and those who really want to take, take advantage of that opportunity. Absolutely. Okay, so one more thing is, um, I see you got Big Drive on. Yeah, right yeah, now. the you car got, show. You got Big Drive. Uh, yeah. Then you got Future Superstar. Yeah. Then you got Baddies. Yeah. Uh, um, it's like uh, a lot of people been asking me, my my homie Wally the Sensei. Yeah. I be playing his music while we we be in the car. He want to know when Wally now coming back. Oh, uh, we got a new season that's about to drop. We got so we done shot so many. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We got a whole new season that's about to drop in a few months. With a whole bunch of other new talent and the OGs and everybody pulled up, so this is a special one because it's uh, we calling this one Twenty One and Up. Mm. So it's like a new, fresh, young right. crop, and they, right. you know, everybody came through and passed the baton. But at the same, so you see all of these new young faces. Mm -hmm. uh, but then at the same time, everybody that you love. So we got that one dropping, and then I'm just, you know, always trying to figure out business moves. Uh, we got a cruise coming. Mm. You know what I mean? Obviously, yeah, the tour. I've yeah. been hearing about this cruise. Look, it's I've been wet. around wet. for season after wild season. Wild and wet. We but in. This, we this better cruise be there. right here, yeah, you I definitely. To to I'm waiting on the cruise just like everybody else. Nah, we got the cruise popping off. Of course, you know we're gonna be doing some more live, you know, tour dates and stuff like that. And then 
me, I'm just trying to figure out like it's the number one brand in all the Paramount Viacom history when it comes to like digital. Like it's really the number one brand in comedy when you think about it. Mm. Because like based off of all of the stars that it created, and then at the same time, mm. it's access. Like you see a wild and out clip go viral every day. There's no right. other like it it got more uh subs and and followers in comedy central all together and it's just one show so right. i'm really trying to i'm taking my ownership of that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. i'm making kinda, sure that it's like it's it's bigger than a network to be honest you kind of like like yeah. i would say tyler perry is the only other person i see that's just producing shows yeah. and producing shows Fact. in our community who's really just pumping them out there like how 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 are you keeping that energy and motivation to keep pumping shit out there like that Man, you just gotta keep cooking while the pot is hot. Like I, you know, when you think about it, I, I wake up thinking like niggas is gonna try to take this from me at right, some point. Right, right. You know what I mean? You see how wild the world is right now. Right. Like, you right. never niggas know. Niggas be on is. top one second and a <laughs> second, they don't even wanna talk to you no more. No, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't even mention your name and shit. So okay. I'm like, why I can still put people on and why I can still produce and you know, we got access. I mean, that's even why this movement is so strong. It's like and wanting you to take full advantage because it's like, look, I wanna just keep keep cooking until mm. you know, I ain't gotta cook no more. Now you cooking and the mm. next next one, the next one. So right. the fact that, you know, I got I got the infrastructure to be able to produce multiple television shows, movies, artists, all of that stuff. Mm. I mean, and it's a lot of people who do the same thing, you know, for us that, you know, really just been doing it like the cubes of the world. Right, you know what right, I mean? Like right. people don't give cube the, right. the props. Shout out Ice Cube. Right. Yeah. Shout yeah. out Ice Cube. Cube, yeah. cube that, I mean, he, he a real one all the way around. And then, I mean, but like you said, like the, the Tylers of the world. And then just other producers that do it too, but they just not really household names. Right, but right. it's a lot of people that really put on for the culture and for our community. Most right. Right. So like I got right a here, for Oh, yeah, hold on. One right, thing I wanted to say, this: these are my co-hosts. Let me give them the yeah. proper introduction. <laughs> yeah. These are my co-hosts Damn, right here. Good. Right here we have Zan Princess. What's good? Most definitely. Then we got my brother P. Nice right here. P. Nice, the president, Eastside <laughs> Long Beach. What's happening? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go for it. I got a question. So... How long you been in the game? I mean, shit, since the nineties. I mean, what year you say? Since you was a kid, basically. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Fact. I so, it was eleven years old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so do you have the same passion now that you did? Probably more because I got more power now. You know right. what I mean? Right, you know, right. power breeds passion. If you really, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like on some shit where everything before it was just a dream, it gotcha. was an idea. But the fact that like now I could really think of anything I want to do and I can actually do it. Wow. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, you, gotcha. you got the bag to do it. You got the means to do it, mm-hmm. the way to put it. So it's like, before I'd be like, oh man, I think I would love to make a movie. But now I'm like, all right, I think I'm gonna make a couple movies this year. Yeah. You, know, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So that Whatever you, you want to. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna sign an artist this year. I think I'm gonna create this show. I think, yeah. so now it's just like, where do I put that passion? Right, because right. like the shit that used to get me excited don't really get me excited no more. Gotcha. Right. You know what I mean? So now I'm trying to like, really like, Helping people gets me right, more right, more right. excited than anything. Like that's where the passion comes from, where you can right. change somebody's life, or where you can actually get the opportunity <clears throat> to be like, I shit used to be fucked up over here, and now because of me, because I stepped in, I fixed that situation. Got you. Right, right, so right. That's that's kind of where my passion <clears throat> lies. I'm not. I don't get excited about award shows and you know how much money you can make off of this and stuff like that. Because you know once you do that for so long, it, it kind of becomes it. old hat. Good. Yeah, yeah, but. I get excited about like, damn, ain't nobody ever did this before. Nobody ever thought to look out for this community. Right, or right, that. Right. So that's where my passion lies. So you've been in the game for so long, right? And creating so many opportunities for different individuals. I'm giving you flowers right appreciate now. Appreciate you, you know appreciate you. You, you done did your shit, bro. Good look. You know what I mean? We need a button. We need a button, Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what the sound effects and shit, man? What the fuck? We need a button. <laughs> it's the first show. We so get look, to it. <laughs> look, 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 I'm gonna ask you, right? No disrespect, you feel me? But yeah. there be a lot of shit going on every time I'm around, bro. Nick Cannon come up and shit. People always be saying certain shit. Yeah. How do you feel, if you know, how do you feel about people trying to say Nick Cannon is like a corny individual. That never bothered me. Mm. I mean, we, yeah, not. I mean, for a few reasons, I, I can always bring up certain. But like, when you when you uh, when you come from it, like yeah. I don't re- like I, that's that was always like, my decoy. Like right. I like that. I just I right, just right, had right, a, right. I just had an argument with a nigga. A nigga say like, you got the incredible chain up. I'm like nigga. And you ain't realer than nobody out in credit. Nigga, we got all the bitches you can name. We got anything and you can name. And that's the other thing incredible. where it's like, I, from every time you go down through history, 
All the niggas they call corny be having all, all of them. them. Yeah, right, <laughs> all right. Of them. Hey, all but with them. the shit that's going on right now, yeah. corny is the best label. Yeah. A nigga, it's a the niggas you thought was gangsta. Yeah, <laughs> like, but some of, the, some of these niggas be having me about to act like Chuck. You know, like nigga, what? And then you go and look at the humans that saying it type of niggas like nigga, please. That's you know low man? frequency energy too, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's one of them things. Like I can't. Cause I don't ever want to sound like that I'm I'm detached from it, yeah. but it's like I can't even really hear it, and it's not because mm. I ain't around it. Right. It's just like it just sound like noise. You just like, elevated all the way. On yeah. Top of like mm, I yeah. like that's the it probably probably when I was younger the shit probably used to bother me a little mm. bit, uh and but then like now I'm be like I'm a grown ass man like I don't yeah. I never gave a, a damn about what mm. anybody thought about me, but now right. even that I got so many other real priorities and real life shit going on that. Somebody's opinion about me. That's so when that you ain't none of my business. On the internet, you'll just like kind of like look past it. I I see it, but I, I they talking shit about everybody. Like, That's all they say. Right. 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 I got all type of bullshit saying about me. Right yeah, like that, and they've been saying it for so long. I mean, my resilience speaks its truth. You know mm, what I mean? Right, like, right. if anything, like, and that's the thing, like. The people get bothered by that are weak individuals just based off of like, if you ain't never been through no real shit, yeah. what somebody say about you on that level, you know what I mean? If right. somebody's trying to like, if it's defamation mm. or something like that, then you gotta address it. But if somebody's mm. giving their opinion on you, yeah. like, and you know where I learn the most best from athletes, like, and especially like, you, you gonna have your team that you fuck with heavy, and you're gonna have a team that you don't rock with, and you're gonna call that everything on that team. You're gonna call them all kind of names, yeah, right, and you right. don't know them niggas. Right. But right. you just go so hard for your team and where you from. <laughs> Fuck them niggas too. Yeah. Right, <laughs> you right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, so right, it, it really be so that I always look at it like, man, I ain't got nothing against it. I just don't like that team. So mm -hmm. therefore, right, when we in our shit mode, you know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm talk it. Yeah. Right. But, but I know most of the time when people saying stuff about me, they don't really know me. It's until, a fact. So it's like, until you bring it to my doorstep, you bring it to my doorstep, you see what it is. I ain't gonna lie. When I used to watch you on TV and shit, before I got to, you know what I'm saying, met you and everything, I used to think the same shit. Yeah. But then when you meet a person in real life, you be like, man, that shit just for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you know what and I mean? it's And it's just, but again, that's what you're supposed to see. If I see anything on TV, I'm like, Man. Especially if I'm right. playing a corny role right. or if I'm doing some that shit. That let like, you know you're doing your job though. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, if I'm hosting the mass singer, nigga, I'm supposed to be on there right. grabbing my nuts and right. talking. Right. Like it's like, nah, right. I'm gonna do what I'm here to do. Right. And it's a mainstream platform. We're gonna we're gonna talk that mainstream talk when it's mm -hmm. time to do it. So it's just I mean, it just shows that, you know, we're all diverse individuals and some people can get with it, some people can't, but I ain't mad at it. As long as it ain't stopping my pockets, then Right. Like one, one thing I could say is over at Incredible, we got like a, we got a tight team. Like, you know, to the point where niggas become family, where we end up just chilling and hanging out, hanging around everybody else. But my thing is, how did you get everybody to be like, because everybody that I know that's around you is for you. Like sincerely to, Not for the love. most part, that's you know love. what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, for sure. How did you get from you know all the way to Aja, all the way to you know everybody that be around working with us, all the way to Tay Chuck? Yeah. It's how, start, did, how did you make it that tight knit? Man, it start from the the top, really. I mean, in the passions of when you have a good heart, you at the end of the day you are gonna surround yourself with good people, mm. and you know you gonna cut through the weeds in, in here and there. But people who end up staying down. We all got the same mission, mm. and I, I legitimately want to see everybody on my team succeed. Like, mm. and you got to figure out how to cultivate individuals and find their strengths and see. And then I think people appreciate that when you can be like, "Yeah, we tried this, but let's try this." So mm. we tried right. this, but like when you're not when you're not an asshole at the end of the day, it's like people want to have your back because they trying to protect you because they know you're a good person. Right, and right. then vice versa you want to look out for, like you said it's some family shit mm -hmm. where you know they know my weaknesses i know their strengths and we just move like that i found out that i was i found out i was spoiled cuz because <laughs> the tour that we go on <laughs> i went on tour after we went on tour <laughs> cuz and the tour we on i'm laid back ac in this motherfucker <laughs> shut the curtain yeah. you know what i'm saying cut tvs up we watching whatever <laughs> going everywhere and Hotel down there in every city. Lit. You know what I'm saying? And then I went on tour after that. <laughs> <laughs>
and it was a grind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, cause <laughs> take me back to future superstar a while ago. Know how good yeah, he had I'm it. like, I'm special. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, yeah, we got the days in now. Hold on. <laughs> hey, cause one time on tour, I made a complaint. I'm like, hold on, this ain't the one. I wrote in the group chat, this ain't the same hotel we get every time. <laughs> Chuck like, nigga. <laughs> Be grateful, nigga. You ain't grateful. Uh, yeah, nigga, I'm grateful. But this hotel I'm used to, I'm accustomed to yeah, some I'm shit. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, we had to, we, nigga, we had every Marriott yeah. and every his W sometime. Right. So, uh, it just being on tour with Wildin' Out or being on tour with Future Superstar showed yeah. me like, okay, this is the life I want, nigga. Yeah. I deserve this. Hell like, yeah. The other shit, though, <laughs> I still dug it out. Yeah. Sprinter catching on fire. It humbled you, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it took you back to your Bro, humble I stage. I jumped out the window, cuz. <laughs> because the Sprinter nigga jumped out. The driver jumped out, Nick. Cuz jumped out. And the shit was on fire still. <laughs> Door lock. All he had to do was press unlock. unlock. Yeah. <laughs> My big ass jumped through the middle of the sprinter, sliding down. Boop, 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 boop. That's crazy. The driver like, oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> I'm like, you bitch ass nigga <laughs> dead. <laughs> I'm on the side of the road. I'm like, they never do me like this at Future Super Bowl. <laughs> nah, we would unlock the door for you. <laughs> Shout out to the grind though. Shout out to my nigga Sada Baby. He didn't have nothing to do with that. That was, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to my team that thugged it with me. Shout out Grind yeah, yeah, to we yeah, rich. Yeah. Um, but yeah, most deaf. I'm I'm glad that you oh, you got any questions? I do have a question. Yeah. I got the question that everyone wants to ask. Uh oh, that one. Let's get to it then. <laughs> Are you planning on having any more kids? Everybody be at only women ask me that. Don't be honest. <laughs> no, I mean I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I mean I got I'm 12 strong right now. Well, you but, got a little army. Yeah, I yeah. It was 10. It's 12. It's 12. <laughs> they ask me something next year. It might be yeah. <laughs> that nigga Steph Curry with the shotgun. <laughs> he be making he it not all the birthdays and shit too. Nah, Which one's it. your favorite? No, just nah, I don't have a favorite, <laughs> but I do love being a father more than yeah, anything. Like, and you able to be hands-on with every single one of them. I try. Them. I mean, again, like- I that's know you're working a lot. Yeah, I no. think more than anything, I'm figuring it out every day, but I'm present. You know what yes. I mean? Like they say, Facts. you can't be perfect, but you can be present. Facts. And then in that sense to where, you know, shoot, I was at, I had a, early, before this, I had a meeting at my son's school with the principal. We sat down for two two hours and just really realizing like, you know, he, he famous at school. Right. And it's like, so, <laughs> yeah. and he's seven in the third grade, hoop, you know what I mean? Right. So like, yeah. but he like, he's like trying to think like, do kids like me for me or do they like me for who my dad is? Right. You know what right. I mean? So it's like even things, even if I only had him, yeah. that I would have to uh, attend to certain things. And then, you know, my daughter, like, you know, I got five daughters. So it's right. like, yeah. so that's a whole nother, like, so just to know that daddy is present right, and, right. you know, don't ever run into a nigga like me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, got, I got one man. daughter. Kind of, kind of the way I work, the way I take care of y'all. Yeah, now look, no. pay Everything attention. Everything else though. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Do you ever get them all together? Like all the girls together for like, Ooh, I haven't got all the great vibe. I haven't got all the girls. Like I haven't done like an all girl thing, but they all get together absolutely in right. various things, especially like big fan, like for my my grandmother's 80th that mm -hmm. you know I had a big event and like all my kids showed up and you know different things like that. But I think too, and this is just wisdom that I learned. Yeah. Everybody wants to be an individual. Mm -hmm. Every yeah. child wants to be an individual. Oh, Every yeah. mother of my children, they don't. So whenever like, oh, you need to get them all together. That's that might be fun for the pictures and how mm -hmm. it, you think. The only body who's convenienced in that moment is me. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. but everybody wants like I. I want one on one time with each of my uh, and there's one of my therapists said that you know you gotta try to get at least give each child 20 minutes a day. Now that shit is hard. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, hard, like right? when you think about, but if you think in the course of the week, I'm definitely gonna make sure I hit the mark, you know, 80% of the time. Right, 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 but right. when you think about just even, we all got siblings and shit like that, you know, like you always like when you got your time one-on-one, -on -one. Yeah. even if it's just a conversation, even if it's just a walk around the block, even if it's in the gym, even if it's help yeah. with homework. I got a different look at my pops or, or my brother or yeah. I, I got a, I got <laughs> our relationship too. Facts, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, so every, you, I, I see that in the comments of when, why he don't get them all together? Like, first of all, I do, but I yeah. ain't like, I don't want, that ain't a moment yeah. that I always, cause I feel like there's something weird about that too. Like, yeah. look at me with all my kids, right. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd rather say like, no, nah, I'm at this game 
game, you know, yeah. uh, then, then I'm at this dance right. recital. Then and, and people are like, oh, I know he tired. He moving around. Like, I'm giving everybody their individual time. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Opposed to like, no, nah, I want every, if I wanted to, I could be like, I, I want everybody to come to yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, all, I'm, I'm already putting them in a challenging scenario, For but sure. then I'm being even more selfish by making them have to accommodate yeah, me. So it's like, sense. as soon as I hit the ground, like, I'm be honest, when I'm working on, on, on the road, doing the movies, I probably get more rest mm. when I'm at work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when we on tour, driving, I'm yeah. sleeping in the tour bus. That'd I'm be like, the best sleep. Yeah, yeah, right. But when you at the crib, it's like, you got to pick this one up from school. Right. You got to show up over right. here. You got to go to church. You got to make sure mm -hmm. dinner time, bedtime. Like, my schedule is crazier when I'm at the crib than when I'm actually working. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah, you got to gotcha. have help with that for sure. I know you have someone to help with Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm going to be honest. Like, salute to every mother of yeah. every child i have man yeah, because care of them kids. but they 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 the true goddesses of it all because yeah. i anybody knows the mom got the hardest job mm. regardless you right, know what i mean right, just right. off top and then, i don't even want your job <laughs> <laughs> don't like, like, my baby mama i don't want that, that like that that I shit the money i couldn't have 12 kids and be a woman Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. Right. <laughs> like you through. <laughs> like, you sure. through. Like, so real talk, like I'm the, I'll be sitting here fronting if I said that, you know, I'm up here doing it like the I couldn't do it if it wasn't for them. So the fact that right, right, right. you know the and the only thing as a provider, as a protector and a provider, I do that well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So ain't none of my kids ever going to want or need for nothing. They always going to feel safe. They always going to feel protected, mm -hmm. and hopefully that then lends to health and happiness. Yeah, so should. I, I could do that with, you know, with my eyes closed. Right. But all of the stuff that a mother got to do, the nurturing aspects to, you know, everything from, because I, I try it. You know, sometimes, yeah, heavy. sometimes heavy. I'll be, you know, like every once in a while, I start like, I'm, I'm putting them to bed at night and like, you're trying to put two toddlers to bed and mm -hmm. like that stuff is, that Bro, take yeah. hours. Right but now. mama come in and just, knock it out like because there's a certain there's a certain connection especially mm -hmm. if i'm not doing it every single night i could probably you know i, I get bedtime duty maybe twice mm -hmm. twice a week you know it's and the like, titties and I, it, it's probably especially if they was breastfed they just they, they're right. just used right. to that right. you know right. leaning up against it but it's just stuff like that like mm -hmm. you know i'm an expert diaper changer but every mom still do it better than i can you know it's just certain things that they just they got innately that mm -hmm. me popping in trying to help. That's all I'm doing is helping. Right. So it's like, you know, shout out to them for, for being able to take the, the bulk of it all. That's okay. a good look. A lot of men wouldn't give a shout out to their baby mamas like that. Yeah, yeah I mean, shit. Real, it's real yeah. shit. Hey, you know, yeah. Cause, yeah, that's a they, good they one. Not, yeah. They not put yeah. trackers on their car. It's better to have them on your side than I mean, as your op. Yeah, if they on your side. <laughs> <laughs> like, I learned that two years ago. I'll be trying to sit back and watch you know, like, you know, I'm dealing, I deal with shit with just one other baby mama. I'm right. like, hey, what the fuck? Feel like I'm juggling 12. When you get to the point when you ultimately, both of y'all want the same thing for your child. Right, right, right. You right. want them to be safe. Right. You want to be I need some healthy. money too. You have, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm money saying. helps. <laughs> money definitely helps. Right. Because yeah. more kids, more money, cuz. Nah, oh, it's ahead. real. Because, but, but, and when you get to that space of, okay, now I'm at a place where I can give as much as I want, then those type of conversations go away. What kind of package got to be you call it, though? Yeah. What kind of package you call it when you want them to leave you alone? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't, I'm going to keep it a stack. I just really think, nigga, what's mine is theirs. Like, I yeah. got a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you got, when you get to a place of abundance, you just know the type of nigga I am. Like, right, I'm like, right. I'm not a stingy, greedy nigga. Right, right, right. So it was like. That's motivation right there. You know what I'm, but it take, I mean, I, when I didn't have it, right. I was like, shit, I can't do it. He said, I'm a nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas start doing this type shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh. But now I'm like, all right, what's the wisest decision for it? But like, it's, it's, it's weird conversations with like. Her G wagon is newer than my G wagon. Yeah, like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. and it sounds crazy, yeah. but you're like, okay, <laughs> nigga, them the type of problems I want. Let's hear that. Yeah. You want come out in a minute? Price type price. of problems a nigga want. Yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. Leave me alone. God damn, <laughs> I'm here.
<laughs> but it's like that's a blessing to be able to be in that space. And I hope to be able to be in that space for you right. know as long right. as I'm on this planet. But that's Absolutely. that's the, that's real success. That's where niggas want to reach that king shit to where it's right. like yeah, it ain't I ain't even thinking about it. Yeah, you can have it. And then you got to think about all right. I don't want no entitled, spoiled ass kids. So now I'm thinking about. All right, yeah, you can have whatever you want, but how do we get to it to where we making sure that your character is intact? We making right. sure you understand integrity. We making sure that you right. understand right. perseverance. Right. We making sure that you understand treating <clears throat> others well who may not have what you have. You know what I mean? Right. So I spend more time even dealing with the moms on like those type of conversations. Like, mm. all right, let's make sure we get what we want, but let's not OD on it. Right. Are you like on? Are, are you like? <laughs> are you like on 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 one mom right now? Nah, I said, that's <laughs> it ain't even. I don't. I never looked at it that way. I never looked. I I, I see like people talking and stuff. Like, oh, that's his favorite. That's his favorite. Hold on. What you say, Flay? What you say, Flay? Like you know, one of the moms is your. Is one of the moms your? Like my main. Right I don't think of it like that. I never have. I mean, because I think I think even if you approach it like that. Which is there's nothing wrong with approaching like, like if I ever awesome got to a space where I'm like I'm on I'm in a monogamous soul situation, nothing comes before my children. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I'm always thinking kids first. So I don't even think I got time for a main. Oh, okay. mm. So I mean, and I was like I got a lot of people <clears throat> in my life. So I don't even think it would be that would create friction. So if you right, if you, right, if that you does did, create friction. if you did. do you gotta act like you <laughs> don't mind. okay even <laughs> you if you like this question. one more hold on please. even if you like this one more to keep it's the it CEO fair, of the household yeah to keep it fair you act like you don't even like you know all y'all just just no because you can't that's generalizing that's going right. by, back to not treating somebody like an individual yeah. I look at it in the same sense like we all. We all got friends, like we all indiv individuals, and you don't be like, oh, I fuck with this nigga more than I fuck with that nigga. Oh, I, this is my, this, this, this my, this my main homie right here. Like right. hey, she do this better than this one. Jump, I like her. Let better. me jump back in my box. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Anyway, enough of that subject. One last question I got to, uh, for you as far as the business aspect, right? You put a lot of people on and shit. Everybody look up to you. You feel me? You do a real good job, but. Do you feel some type of way, or would you feel some type of way if one of your artists or whoever else you put on was to get bigger than you? Nah, that's what I want to happen. Like, I, I ain't got no ego about this. Like, right. mm -hmm. I really, like, I can't wait for this. I mean, even on some certain stuff when it comes to where he already shining and surpassing <clears throat> me. Like, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, he already surpassed me in hip hop. You know what I mean? Right. But that's like, I think that's dope. I want to see him be right. the, the, the next West Coast king, if not. Right all the way because like you don't see too many certified real ones that can actually rap and be an artist and actually do everything that he does and still stay true so i look up to even though i'm older than him i look up to what he's done and what he's doing so it's like from that to any other artist that's even somebody who's probably even <clears throat> more cut from a similar cloth when the style of entertainer whether it's a comedian or a host like i want to see people elevate surpass me yeah. And that, I mean, that's just, I ain't never like, only competition I got is myself. So I really, and I right. really believe that I'm striving to be the best me each and every day. So I ain't never been jealous of a nigga like ever in yeah, life. And that's got to, I got this shit tatted on me, nigga. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, right, right. Right. All day. That's an honor right there. Most that's good to hear because a lot of people want you to be big, but never bigger than them. You know what I mean? That, so I that's mean, good to a hear. lot of people are insecure and they got ego issues. And I right. think we all have it. But then once, I mean, I've been doing the work for a long time. Once you realize it's like, I think too, it's always like, if a, if a nigga been solid since day one, if a nigga been a cool nigga from, since exactly. grade school, exactly. it's just, you just know, like, you know the niggas that was going to be on some bullshit. You know some niggas that right. was going to be real. Like, they just not, I don't know, they, they not cut that way. I've always <clears> just been like, i always been able to get chicks like, before I was famous. I always was a... Figured out a hustle, how to get money. Like I always, I was never a scary nigga. Like I, so I was just very comfortable right. in my skin. So no matter what room I walked in, I was like, right. I ain't, I ain't never had no problems with nobody. I never like, but if it came to me, we figured it out. You know it's what up. I mean? Like, it's just when you were a, a solid individual, you just want to see other people around you solid as well. Right, so right. you want to put people in position to be bigger. I mean, like yeah. even shoot, you know, I think from the day that we created Wildin' Out. 
to everybody that done came through. Mm -hmm. That show done created more millionaires. Everybody, somebody on there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. And that's like when you <laughs> can get real, all the right. people back in the same room and be like, man, remember? Right, remember right. when, like, that's that's them good yeah. conversations to where like, damn, if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have been, I would have been fucked up. And then the fact that I have that conversation multiple times, even more than, cause even for every famous person you see that we done, you know, offered a platform or opportunity to, it's 10 other people that just are feeding their families just right. based off of behind the scenes type stuff. Right, and like, right. that's, that's on some real, real king shit where you can, really wake up each and every day and be like you know what i'm i'm helping multiple villages eat yeah. right right you know what i mean that's how i feel to have your food come out first care hard care all the time <laughs> 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 where we go care all of a sudden they fixing food hot <laughs> that shit coming king out shit. fast, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go straight you to know. cut. <laughs> king <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, but, you get used to it. I, one thing I wanted to let people know is over at Incredible, cause people be like, we're the security, we're the woo woo. I'm like, uh, nigga, we are the, the security, security as a whole, nigga. Yeah, we, we got a lot of guns over here. <laughs> slide, slide this way if you want to, nigga. We, we are, we slide this way if you want to. I'm, I'm glad we don't bring we don't bring none, none of the bullshit energy. <laughs> no. Cause it, and we come with all we come with all females we get, mostly. Yeah, it's like that's the thing. You get to a point in your life where you don't want no bullshit. You just right. want to have a good time. Like even the shit, cause you know I be DJing all over the country, all over the world, and shit mm -hmm. like that. And it's so crazy the difference <clears throat> when you DJing overseas or you DJing in one of them events, in Vegas, and all that shit. And you be like, we. We just in here having a good time. <laughs> right, right, just right. Having fun. Ain't you no like, niggas mean. And then when you go DJ a hood spot, I'm like, then your your head on a swivel. Right, like, right, the right. Energy. Ten like, minutes. I wish, good. yeah, I wish my niggas got to understand. <laughs> like, right. the, but we don't gotta funk with each other. We don't right. gotta have that bullshit. Like, we can be, we can still be gangster. We can be all of that, but we can enjoy one another. Like, right. it's a time it, and place for right. everything. First right. day, first day, you got me on there with. Chuck Tay, Baby Mo, Baby Mo, Homebloods all day. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm crimping all day. The Black Squad. <laughs> but niggas just be having, that's, that's what Wildin' Out was. Like bringing shit together. Everybody from all different hoods. Right. Yeah. And he's just enjoying each other, having mm -hmm. fun, making fun of each other, talk, and right, it's right. like, and getting money. Right. I think that's the other thing too. When everybody eating, mm -hmm. the wolves are calm. Exactly. Right. That's, that's a fact. Exactly. Sure. That's a fact. <laughs> that's a big everybody fact. Everybody got to be that's eating. That's a, sure. a big fact. That, just, just giving the opportunity is, a, is amazing. Like, you know, some of us step on stage like, Okay, nigga, we oh we on that? Yeah. You know right, right. Nigga like, oh yeah, we over here. Just that, you know, look look at all the steps <laughs> I even took from there. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I took leaps from there after that. You feel me? But real shit, like yo, the opportunity, even all the shit that I created, the opportunity that you have, dog, like you can do everything I've done and more. Because one, niggas listen to you. On some like nigga, you, you ain't got the corny jacket. You know what I mean, niggas. Is no, like, I like need to dumb my shit down. <laughs> I'm trying to dumb you all the way down. But just think about the real leadership quality, and that's why that CEO shit is, is for real. Because that's what like nigga, you are a CEO. Like, right. and if you really think about how many people you could put on, how many people's lives you could save, mm. just based off of being you, not even trying to do nothing else other than just. You solid, you know what I mean? You got principles, right. you know what I mean? Like you, and the fact that nigga, if a nigga step out of line Stay on them no principles, shit. yeah, you let them know and, and, and no you can get to like shit. niggas, that, that's that type of fear that it ain't about, oh, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a go bully a nigga. Right, I'm a, right. Like, nah, nigga, I got principles. Mm. I stand on it. And therefore the whole community can follow me. Mm. They know, oh, he got my back. He protecting us. Like nigga, that's awesome. Nigga, that's what gangs was created for. Mm. Like right. the yeah. gangbang shit is really What's just to protect us. niggas. Protect, you protecting your, I'm protecting my block. You protecting your block. Right. Now, if you stay over there, I stay over here. We good. Yeah. Facts. Soon as somebody don't feel protected no more, now it's up. You know what I mean? And then if we get that idea of like we just bring that block closer together and really protect ourselves and against the, whole the real world ops, be, whole world gonna be the block. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, but the fact that what you have, like, nigga, when you think about. Everybody who has done it, and, and even a lot of them do it quietly, but when you think about the power of a, a Kendrick, when you think about the power of even like 
a little dirt. When you think about the power, and even OGs be like I was talking about mm. Cube and just I'm just niggas from just different areas. Like mm. the power of when somebody say I came from it, got it out the mud, and now I've changed my lives and changed my whole hood's life. Mm. And and I could be on some bullshit if I wanted to. Right, right. I could I could I could turn this bitch up if I, I act want like to. Like if I want to. If I want to. Yeah, but right. even and even on like you know shoot I didn't I've been you know, locked in with Suge. I done went and visited him a bunch of times. We was writing his memoirs and all that stuff. When you see somebody like that, that nigga started as a bodyguard. That nigga started as a protector. That nigga would start even right. where they from, like he, a big nigga that was looking out right. to, was like, bullying on, the bullies. Yeah, you know on. what I mean? Like when you think about it, like he was trying to help Easy initially. Mm. Then, Easy wasn't lit. He was trying to help Easy against Jerry. Easy was rocking with Jerry's. Right. Like then he was trying to help Dre. He was trying to help the DOC. He was mm. trying to help like niggas really. Then the ego and the and the and all right, that. Once right. you start getting to it, and nigga, right, then you right. become the enforcer a little right. bit too harsh. But, but right. at the end of the day, he was just trying to protect his. Mm -hmm. And then and so like the ideas of what a gangster is, there ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just when niggas take it in the wrong direction right. and start getting weird with it. Right. Okay. So I, all right. That's the last question I got to ask you. Right. I want you to ask a real quick answer, real quick, real simple. Right. All right. So back in the day, right, when blacks were slaves. All right. <laughs> <Nigga, laughs> DW going deep. Look, hey, hey, nigga, hey, back in the day, when when our people were slaves. Like now, people would have been. Like, people be like, I would never go for some of that shit back then. I would never. Niggas ain't even been back then. Good but facts. they say what they wouldn't have did. Do you think some of our people don't take this wrong, y'all? <laughs> yeah, right, I didn't just a question. Ask the question, cuz. <laughs> Do you think some of our people just was, being, question, was, 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 was being was being busters about like letting certain shit this go to play? <laughs> Nigga, first of all, like you said, you said you answered the question. We weren't there. We, we, nigga, that's, that's a, first of all, it's conditioning and programming that we, like, colonization is something that we will, one, always be a byproduct of, but we will never understand it at its origins. Imagine you in a land, my nigga, where you all just rocking it based from tribe to tribe and how you get what you get from the land and you respect the land. Right. And there's these, Foreign motherfuckers come over with fucking science fiction weapons, nigga. Shit right, that right, right. you know what I mean when you right, think right. about it. Niggas right. ain't thought about you that. Ain't never you ain't never, you ain't never seen a gun in your life. <laughs> right, right. right. You see a motherfucker do something <laughs> with his finger and a motherfucker right. blows away. <laughs> you, right. Your mind is fucked up, and then he gonna right. then he gonna serve you a white god. Yeah. Real quick to tell Believe you, this, <laughs> this gonna save you, <laughs> and then I'm like, and he probably gonna come, he gonna manipulate you and, hey, let's take this little boat ride. We gonna take like all of that shit, right, to a better and life. By the time you know, you so confused, they take your language away, they take your identity away. Mm. So by that time, we have been so broken down and so stripped of our power because we had so much of it mm. that because we wasn't on on whatever they was on, right. And then they just figured out how to steal our land, use us as property. I have no idea what that would have been like mm. if I was placed in that position. I, I wish I was, I, I hope I was a Nat Turner type nigga. You yeah. know what I mean? In my mind, I would say that. Yeah, yeah. Right. But yeah. I don't know. Right, you know, what I'm the, just feeling like. Uh, yo, a nigga, your size, you might get, I'm gonna get cracking. Yeah, hey, I'm saying a nigga, your size might be able to buck up the master. <laughs> yeah. no, you might like take a few man, more shots. Wanna, no can, disrespect to my ancestors. They would have feel like eventually watching my baby. Nigga, you hit me with a whip, crack, flame. They would have fucked I, you I, up. I would want to get my life. I think <laughs> I'm. I think I'm the type of nigga that like. There's a lot. You don't. Think, they. You got to think about this. They said over eighty percent of the enslaved individuals that were brought over on the boats didn't make it mm, from niggas jumping off the boats oh. from niggas from niggas just the the what they had to go through mm. so even just to make it to the land you was probably you know what yeah, i mean like yeah, yeah. i probably would have been one of them niggas that right. i'm jumping off the boat like i'm probably not yeah. gonna make it like i feel like mm. the, it's a certain type of thing to even the fact that you made it here yeah. mm. and the fact yeah. that you still got to be around your children you still got right, to experience right. love even though it was on some bullshit 
You know what I mean? Just right. think about all the people that were tortured just on the boat ride over. Right, right. The mm. the the filth and the mm. the nastiness that they had to do to just being treated like cattle. Right. Just to right. get over. Like so that type like when you start thinking about it at that level, it's like yeah. And I guess when we ain't seen nothing on the other side. And we, we never we ain't even we yeah. don't know. We, like, right. we don't yeah, know. yeah, we don't know like, how we many been here. we don't know how many people didn't got cracked. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and got killed, or yeah. you know, without everybody backing them up at a time, you know. So nah, my thing crazy. is, though, uh, I kind of feel they just like outsmarted us faster, like you know, nigga, they had weapons. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, they gotta, had. you gotta think about it. Uh, like they whenever, had whenever, guns, right, right. Whenever shit you were in a situation, <laughs> they had got, shit that shoot. Uh, yeah, we didn't you have, have think that about shit. It. If we had a concert, nigga, right. and a big ass melee crack off, right? Mm. Everybody going getting cracking, mm. but as soon as the police come with them guns, yeah, with the whole crowd up. going, yeah. they moving the whole up. crowd. It's a thousand people in the crowd, but only fifty police showed up. Right, mm. right. They moving everybody. Right, right. And that's right. Them weapons, nigga. Them weapons, nigga. And then we had never Fuck saw all that. Shit like have that. you done your ancestry? Uh, yeah. I'm supposed to be doing the the show where they actually the show where they take you all the all the way back. But we've definitely I, it's a documentary that we're working on that. Uh, Takes us all the way back to the motherland and, oh, wow. and where we come from. So that that's definitely about. But to you come for sure, your people are straight from Africa. Uh, there's a lot of, but yeah, I'm just, the majority. I mean, we all come from. I don't know East where I'm coming from, but I know. I did my. All I know is I'm from Long Beach. I'm from Literally. Long Beach. Literally, the plantation of Long Beach, homie. Literally. Like what? What if y'all? You know what I'm saying? What if you started out in Long Beach? Yeah, that's no, but I mean, if you think about it, like you came from Africa. But that's it. No, but that's it. When you think about your lineage, because I know there's a lot. A lot of us people don't understand that there were people of color melanated individuals black people that were already here in america yeah. right, you know right. what i mean like that but again that's when a lot of that stuff we we were some of the first settlers we were some of the first people to travel this earth some of the first but but we wasn't doing it in a sense of like yo we trying to come and take your land we was right. like, yeah we was mm. good in egypt so <laughs> but there you know there when you think about in the lands of like south america even though that south South America in itself is one of the biggest slave ports, bigger than America. People don't even know that. That's why so many black people in Brazil and all of those type of things. Mm -hmm. But then even in that same nature, like there's in like literally people, indigenous black people from Mexico. Right. I mean, if you see the the same oh, yeah, statues definitely. that they have in mm -hmm. in Mexico match the statues that they have in Africa. Like these are places that we travel for the longest. So right, right. not to all say that we were you know, part of the, the chattel save, slavery mm -hmm. movement. It was like some weren't, some, you know, even, but even though I'm probably, there's probably, I don't have a lot of Egyptian mm -hmm. in my lineage, I still take pride in that as a person, as a black person, like, yo, yeah. that's that's still us. That's still yeah. part yeah. of us. You know what yeah. I mean? To like, whole Egypt, and yeah. all, like, I still, yeah. Mansa like, Musa you know, from Mali, right, like, right, that's right. a whole that's different, like, I'm Very still nice. gonna say that's us. Right, you right, know right. what I mean? Because in that sense, it's like, it's, it's, there's definitely a power of overcoming those obstacles as black people that have experienced through the world. It's like, right. no matter what you say, black people all over this world have suffered some shit mm -hmm. that non-black people have it. So. Right, right. You a very intelligent individual, brother. Yeah, I try, man. Shit, hey, you know. I'm, I'm sitting here yeah, listening to you. I'm like, this you, nigga Pete. talking. Using big word indigenous and all this type of shit. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, feel I feel right. you, yeah. I mean, a nigga from there. Right, right. right. You indigenous to Long Beach, nigga. Right. <laughs> I mean, definitely. Definitely. I'm going to sit around this nigga. He going to tell you some Yo, good shit. You going to be exactly. like, nigga, you know what I am. Don't let nobody, <laughs> don't let nobody tell you where you're from. Nah, but that, uh, yeah, one thing about the, the black people that be like in Mexico or the Dominican <laughs> or whatever I love y'all <laughs> y'all niggas too because some of them no I just so I didn't talk to a couple few they be like no I'm this I'm that I'm like I get that you from over there that's where you ended up or that's where you started ain't nothing wrong with that though in the we niggas though cuz you know why we niggas though we niggas because we don't have a <laughs> land to claim right because and that's all they doing is like if they Dominican they Dominican first because they can say I'm this we, we, there ain't no you can't speak Blackanese you can't mm. you can't go back to Black Town you right, know what I mean you right, can't go right, back right, like right. there ain't the, you go to Africa right but that's what that if you ever go to Africa they gonna let you know no matter what they're like I'm not African I'm Nigerian 
Oh yeah, I'm, right. yeah. They type shit. I'm, 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 the same I'm, shit going you know on over I mean? there. I'm yeah. Egyptian. I'm Somali, and I'm. They gonna tell you what country they're from. And that's why right. I come to say again, nigga, you black like me. <laughs> but if you want, we all they can good. unite under being, you know, yeah. a melanated power. Like yeah. we all black, but right. they gonna embrace. They be like. They got to deal with the same hardships that we got to deal I'm with. I'm from the United States alone, be scared. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm from, and that's why we that's rep where the we way at. we rep. That's, that's why we yeah. Where the Asians is damn near black. The, the the Mexicans is damn near black in Long Beach, nigga. The Samoans is... We <laughs> Samoans all, are black. Nigga, we <laughs> are all like... That's but what, one thing you can say in black culture is the strongest culture in the world. Mm. Yeah. Like, niggas got more influence <clears throat> than anyone. Mm. And that's the thing, like, everybody wanna be us. That's why I say everybody want our rhythm, but don't nobody want our blues. Like, it's it's like, it's, Ooh, it's in bar. that shit to, it's in that shit that to was where a bar. they wanna move like we move, they wanna talk how we talk, but they don't want that hard shit that come with it. Mm. They don't want when the motherfuckers like, no, 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 I'm not that, I'm not that <laughs> type of black. I think nobody want that shit. Yeah. We don't even want that shit no more. <laughs> but that's, you know what I mean? That's that's part of the sauce, so. For real. You okay, know. okay, so uh, shit, whenever you ready, you know you get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, do yeah, your yeah, thug. Yeah. But I'm right here. I'm rocking with you. All right, so, so the, uh, this is what I wanted to speak on. Recently, I seen Jess Hilarious, you know, who won a voice. Yeah, yeah. Fact. Talking to Candace Owens. I fuck, I fuck with both of them. I like Candace Owens. I, I like I like the I knowledge that. that she has. I like when she <clears> speaks. <throat> but recently, she just said some shit because she has a white husband yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and mixed kids. She said, well, people are too, basically, people are too simple-minded. I don't see color. I don't see, um, I don't call my kids mixed. But what I want to say is Candace Owens, unfortunately, your kids are mixed and your husband is white. And you are black. We have no problem with interracial, interracial relationships. That's fine. But girl, you black because when that officer pull your kid over, he's not gonna say, "I don't see a color." Yeah, I right. mean, it's she. First of all, from the perspective that she's speaking, because once she, she, I get what she's trying to she say. Come, she come. She, ain't. She was raised by her grandparents. All of that. You know what I mean? She like come she, from some money. Yeah. No, nah, not even. No, she come from like some niggas? She a like nigga. Struggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, like, so how, so never like, mind. Never mind. Like, never mind. but we gonna get on that. But in a what second. she's doing, which I'm not <laughs> mad at, like she's giving niggas a, a alternative perspective. Sometimes, <laughs> again, first of all, she's a person in the media. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so we know what that is. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, she's doing a job. So she's going she, to, the more noise she can make, right. the more ultimately money is being made. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Whether right. whatever platform she's on, she's a master mm -hmm. at being a person in the media. But I guarantee you, she's given a, a different perspective because she was like, I don't think the same way. Is that, and that's, that's what I respect about. That's a, Jess Hilarious is the same way. Like she, she gonna say some shit. that be like, "Hey, just I don't I know, mean, just, the, I don't know the fuck about what you just said right there." Like, yeah. but then same thing with Candice. But I love both of them as black women. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. I love, I respect both of but them. But is mind. she saying she's a black woman, or she? She, just, she, she said that in the same thing. She was like, "I can't deny, I am a black woman." Yeah. But I, she even I think the same shit. She was like, "I used to like Asian men." Like yeah. her shit. Like <laughs> niggas can have a preference. Right, right, right. We like, have no I, problem with that. You see, my nigga, my fucking, uh, my kids look like uh, a social studies book nigga it's a different shade on that right, right. I mean, each I, and every I, one of them my only thing <laughs> like, is like I, I don't it's whatever you fall in love with that's what you rock with now i also you know i done sit next across from dr umar and all this i understand where he coming from too as well if we talk about forward, though, if, if we trying to yeah. enrich our community the black woman is the most powerful entity in our community right. and we got to protect i'm that. just saying i want her to be a black woman she is a black and, woman no no i'm saying i'm she saying just she seems like you gotta it, have a it conversation kinda, with it. Kind of maybe I do it. It kind of help. It kind of helps her to be like maybe she's accommodating her husband or her kids by saying certain certain things. I don't think it's can, even about that. I think I think she's a super smart person that likes to debate, that likes to challenge people, that likes to go. There's there's a one one point in time she wasn't uh, conservative. Mm. You know what I mean? And then she got let down. Like if you are gonna play that politics game mm. you know I mean I don't fuck with either side either way you know right. what I mean because it's like it's the as we call it the lesser of two evils it was like there's right. no it's not a two-party system it's uh one party with two evil names you know right, what I'm saying right, like right. It, it's it's they just separated to make you think you got a choice but all of the shit she be saying mm. don't be uh, somebody got to challenge it right yeah. you know what I mean it's just the fact that she's educated herself from a perspective that most of us have it now there's a lot of shit she say that i don't agree with but i i respect the fact that 
you can actually have that discourse mm -hmm. in a respectable manner. But even I, I think she moved like there's. I got a lot of Candace Owens in my family that feel <laughs> certain. Cool. You know what I mean? Like ah, oh, here we go. I gotta argue with her about this then, again. Right. <laughs> right? It's like it's just certain <laughs> things that certain people right. feel certain ways about, and you know, uh, I don't knock her because I got my own shit. Okay, okay. I. All I'm saying, Candace, is we are, I don't want the people to Stacey dash you. You know what I'm saying? I don't <laughs> but want see, to, that's a different I don't thing. Want like, she, yeah. At least she's coming from a place of like she know what she's talking she just about. Stacey dash Daddy didn't even know DMX she died. Just got she fired. Was, oh, she just got fired. Yeah. Oh shit. For see? being, she, she yeah. found out she, she was a nigga real about quick. Ben and <laughs> she, see, she said, like, she have the power to uh, fire her. She said, but that's the thing. Even I thought she was a nigga real quick. Stacey dash too. Don't. But she about to have her own YouTube. Stacey Dash ended up being included. Okay, someone's got fired. Not Stacey <laughs> Dash. Right, right, right. But I'm saying, <laughs> let's let's look at this clip right here that we got with Jess Hilarious and Stacey Dash. <laughs> oh shit! Candace Jess always, Hilarious. nigga. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. Candace always, nigga. Fuck. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I already know what it's Stacey says. Dash. Yeah, this is the God is good one. Let me get a remix. Okay. Yeah. God is good. God is good. Amen. <laughs> No, 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 no. I thought you were going to say God is great. Thank you for the food. God is great. No. I didn't know that. God, I'm going to do you, Charlene. She should have known that. All the time. And all the time. I would have never known She grew up with her grandparents. I would have never known Grandparents know that, Nick. That's you gotta it's go okay. to church like to know that. I've though. never heard it's that. It's okay. We, it's okay. It's okay, Candice. And the, <laughs> and the black community is gonna back you up. It's once again. Going. She hey. know now. We are not turning she against. Now. She know now. We are not turning against you that quick. We ain't gonna let you I, go. I, I, this is what you fast. understand. I just get into this politics shit. But black people, we have naturally been more conservative. More than anything, like if you really, I mean, the shit that you're talking about, like the the Democratic Party is the party of the Ku Klux Klan. Right. Like yeah. if you think it's civil war, like we was rocking with the motherfuckers up north who were conservative. Mm. The Democrats was the Confederate motherfuckers who didn't fuck with us, who wanted to keep us in slavery. Right. And then they did a Jedi mind trick on niggas and made you think that they was rocking for us. First of all, neither of them are rocking for you. They right. still treat you like property either way. Right. But if you're gonna rock with our <clears throat> who we are as a people we some get out and get it on your own type shit we some hustlers we some ceos right. nigga show me one real ceo that is a liberal mm. Mm. niggas is about they bag now you got them people who pretend to be, and ain't nothing wrong with you being liberal but that shit for what it is now is like we we about look i'm gonna make some money nigga you can make some money you can make some money that's all like nigga i want my guns mm. you know what i right, mean right. i want like it's just like if you think about what a conservative is that's us to its core and then don't put the our spirituality on it because it's a lot of beliefs that just because of we was raised in church and things that we are the things we stand on mm. are more conservative than a lot of that shit of oh everyone's equal and everybody like right. that shit sound good right, and, right. but when you get to the ideas of what we really stand for like i said i'm i'm conservative about some shit but i'm i'm liberal about certain things but i'm probably more conservative about shit right, especially right. when it comes to my household and who i'm protecting because right. that ultimately is what you want but that idea of everybody and everybody it sounds equal. good right but when you i'd rather somebody be up front in my face then give me the bullshit that like somebody else is trying to pretend right. like they're helping me out right. when you still just treating me like shit just like the part like, yeah. if you ain't if you don't fuck with me let me know up front mm. this nigga nick a teacher right, right. i mean that's like <laughs> i'm in school when, right that's now. what i believe with the with the god that i pray to i i believe if i say look i'm finna go do this Please make sure I make it back home safe. I'm not going to lie to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? He respect that more than somebody to be like, look, give me a second chance. Ooh, ooh, because every time I did that, I tried and I always prospered when I tried after I kept it G. Right. Keep you know it stack. So, but yeah, that's, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. We right here on the CEO show. Cause we got a lot of game for you. We got a lot of uh, info for you on what's going on. Nigga, how long is your show? Uh, don't even let that bother you. Yeah, don't let that bother you. Don't even let that bother you. Don't worry about the nigga. noise. Yeah, look, it's my shit, nigga. But, <laughs> I'm not just nigga. Yeah, we posted, yeah. Out. But this is what we going to do right here. I got you know, I get paid by the hour, oh, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One thing we going to do right now, this is a part of my show that's called Heat of the Week. Okay. This week, we're going to bring in some of that heat. I know y'all always see me on No Jumper. I ain't I ain't missed a day without it. I always wear Sugar Hill or Gal. I got my boy Tony in the building, and he's going to come bring some of that shit up here. Tony, what's up? 
Oh, he's, 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 so he's my nigga, and he got the no jumper skateboard. Dang. What's up? First off, how you doing, Hold on, you can come here. You can say what I said. I can sit between y'all. Come on, no, you gotta stand. It's kind of close. It's kind of close. Okay. Look at the detail on it. I put it in front of the camera. That shit hard. We made that shit yesterday. What's good, yeah? How you doing? Oh yeah, this is me. This Tony. Uh, hey y'all. This nigga got a new show already getting product placement and shit. See, that's why. We made the uh, the custom board yesterday. Flame hit us up and said he needed us today, so we showed up. We got a little thing for the set. We got a little fit right. too. My right. my man's gonna throw it to me. Hold on, where the, where the frame right. at? I'm gonna put this in the frame. Is that a Sugar Hill bag, bag too? Bag Hold on, the basketball is, is real, so everybody knows the basketball <laughs> is real. We don't play. We got the custom bag. We might even need this. Here. That's a Sugar Hill bag. Well, it might. I don't know. It's got a bunch of Sugar Hill and our other brand on it. Yeah, that's fly. That's Sugar Hill there. My man Tyler made it. He's one of our designers. Yeah, He's extremely talented. Yeah, yeah. What's happening? Let me see what we got. We got some shit dropping on the site tomorrow. And we might have brought and we might have brought Nick's fit. We might have brought Nick's size. You an Come investor on. in Sugar Hill? I mean, you the CEO. I mean, like. Okay, I like the, I like the bottom of the pants. He's the day one. We got our one. He's the day one. <laughs> this is our, uh, our Janice stacked sweat. Everybody's been on the stack sweats, a little cozy yeah, fit for the summer, the right? The little flare at the bottom. Don't say flare too loud, though, niggas. We we still say stack. <laughs> we say stack. Everybody wears flare. Everybody wears the flare, but nobody want to say. All right, there and then go. we got the hockey jersey. We specialize in going outside the box, so you know we got a lot of niggas on the hockey ice. So why not make a hockey shit, jersey? This is our, our spring two collection dropping tomorrow on the site. Oh. Make sure you tap in to get that. So Follow, like, I subscribe, all that shit. Jersey. And you might even see Nick in this shit. Because you got to wear it now. I've yeah. been blessed with him on the air. Oh, that, you got to wear it now. Beloved. I can't believe you didn't bring on for Josh. I'm definitely going to put this to action. No. There it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Y'all see Sugar. what's going on. This is that here. We, I got on Sugar Hill as we speak. You know they saying? keep they keep you dripped up. You got yeah, to. So I miss Lame Friday. Even on the tour, I ain't missed one day. Not yeah. One. You know there it saying? is. Good That's looking, Tony. Of course, man. Good looking out. Most sure. come out here. And that jacket look. you got on, I got that one, though. That's the sample. You might not have <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want, hit me up. Yeah. The, 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 the benefits of having your own show, Flame. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's there. the heat of the week, right? right? There it is. <laughs> That's okay. most important. <laughs> All right, and you see we back right here. This um the W uh well the NCAA basketball oh, tour- tournament that's been going on March Madness the women. The been women really killing going it. Going up right now. They've been going up more than the men. That's South saying, Carolina man, nigga. I feel like just in sports in general, women paying more or like turn it people up. paying more attention to the women. Can't than nobody fuck with men. South Carolina. And it's the though. cute ones that's been hooping too. It's the cute. They be looking good. It's, been, it's the cute ones that have been hooping, Damn. putting that bucket. Calm down. Shout out USC. <laughs> you don't be seeing the see pictures. They be having like in they hoop wear and I mean, they really dress up. Think I'm a grown ass man. Like, <laughs> like y'all think it's a little younger True. than don't me. Don't do that. No, but no, I'm come on, like, bro. Man, but those, I look, those are little girls. I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but, 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 in my mind. Okay, some of the wild and out girls. <laughs> I'm not talking about WWE. You I mean, gotta be. You gotta be. Again, if we t- for me, no team. 25 up. Okay, but I'm a I'm an older nigga. It's not just right. NCAA though. It's, no, it's, me, not that for it's me, WNBA chicks too. Huh? Nothing it's WNBA to chicks too be, though. Can't, I can't. I can't. What, what, you, what do you say, Pete? <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> I it's WNBA chicks too though. Mm-hmm. That's who I'm talking about. Who? Mm-hmm. What's her name? Bro? <laughs> What's her name? Tia. Uh, Tia. Uh, uh, I mean, they. Uh, they uh, Tia Cooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tia Ooh. Cooper. Yeah, yeah, Candace Parker. Candace still play? What I was the one that retired. used to? Candace a dunk on you, huh? I right, let her too. I <laughs> <laughs> let her. What that mean? <laughs> What's I'm gonna play hard D. What's the one? <laughs> hey yo, yo you go, my mama over there. You gonna play hard one play? Or what, you, what you say? <laughs> I'm gonna play hard D. <laughs> and he got him to say it again. <laughs> I would deer up. I would, <laughs> I would keep on asking. You gonna whack out? Yo. Give her a hard D. <laughs> he said, he's, "Okay, uh, <laughs> but oh yeah, so yeah, <laughs> what we got going on right now?" <laughs> hey, I'm gonna keep it G with y'all. I don't even know how to read the first. Those round. are the scores. They don't got it. They don't oh, care okay, about that. Okay. That's letting you know that South Carolina won. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. So, oh, yeah. all right, let's let's. I gotta, <laughs> shout out to I gotta pick basketball. up my kids, nigga. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, this nigga Nick Key is about to be sitting in the office. Yeah, you like you. Nick, you good? You good? I'ma keep. I'ma keep. Yeah, no. To Flame's credit, he did say you could go. I've been telling Nick. I said I said I'm chilling with you. He yeah. said I could go like a, like. Yeah, I just didn't want to say, nigga, you could go. Yeah. He was like, nigga, I'm done with you, nigga. <laughs> I got you for my inaugural show. I told <laughs> niggas Nick Cannon was showing up. Yeah. You was, but you wasn't supposed to get the free uh, clothes and shit. That's my jersey, nigga. <laughs> What's up, Chuck? Hey, Chuck, Tate, I got y'all cut. Them two right here. All right, yeah, yeah. It's the Black Squad is in the building. Hey, hey, hey. hey. To, to, hey, don't give away all the stories you were telling us about Sugar Hill. Yeah, you hear me? Don't give away my shit, cuz. Hey, P, I'm gonna take you up here. Uh, you can hey, up hey, go ahead. Y'all can take it. Take it off. Take hey, it off. No, no, I'm keeping it. Hey, Tony. Make I'm sure coming up there to the warehouse. For sure, but I need to take I need to, right, y'all take me. No, I didn't. This, shit, I saw this nigga Nick wanna take off his coat on the camera, but cuz. You ain't like slick, twice. nigga. <laughs> hey, play. Play. This nigga Nick took off his coat and flexed his arms and shit. <laughs> that's, cause he do, that's cause Nick do exercises like this. <laughs> cuz you all the extra. I appreciate you for coming, bro. I know it's a man to play. What's up, man? Hey, 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 are we still going? Yeah, we still uh, going. Let's get okay, this shit Okay, so this is where I was at right now. I want to I want to touch on the Diddy updates. Woo, it's Diddy Day. <laughs> what y'all think? I'm going to let y'all out of flow. What's going on? Man, it's Diddy, 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 I don't know if Diddy did it or not. Diddy or Diddy? Diddy, Diddy, did he do it? Didn't he? I don't know if he did or did not <laughs> Me neither. do this shit. So I'm not going to uh, I don't know if he could chastise him. I ain't going to put him down or nothing, but I hope he didn't. And if he didn't. I hope he come out on top. Okay, did, little, like, I ain't got nothing to say about it. I know we. Oh, go ahead. I'm just like, is this supposed to drug meal supposed to be the one who's holding all the two C? Mm. They keep calling it the pink. <laughs> they keep calling it pink coke. It's two C, and I'm like, he just had enough to, for everyone to go party. Man, but bring the two C <laughs> for the, for all the hooskies and <laughs> everything that's. They just this. fucked up their whole trip. Yeah, I kind of feel bad. Even the people that's blaming him know they do two C too. That's what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all taking it about. out of what y'all taking fuck everything is too too far. Man, too ski. That's the new shit. Tusi is the pink. It's, the, it's pink the powder. Columbia, nigga. No Tusi, no, no pussy. Yeah. That's like a slogan. No Tusi, no, no pussy. No Tusi, no pussy. No Tusi, no pussy. Yeah. Oh no Tusi, no pussy. So all I know is the pink stuff. Like that's not even a big problem. Everybody at his parties did that. Cause I don't get to bringing that up. But the thing is. I seen on on the internet that uh uh Suge Knight says that the feds didn't raid the house for Diddy. They raided the house to destroy the evidence um of all the other people higher up. Ooh. Mm. Damn. Ooh. So like if that was the case though. then That's deep. Cause. It's not yeah, we didn't even think of that. You no, know, that's something I don't even want to talk about. Damn. They not gonna come get me for shit. Then cause you, you shedding light on that. I ain't shed no light. Hey, <laughs> cuz <laughs> Flame, that's go. you, cuz. Talk about it, Flame. Bro, they better deal with Shug first. Damn, for real. Hey, Shug, that's you, you Flame. I didn't say that. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. And honestly, if at the end of this, Diddy comes that's out deep. on top, everyone who was just whew, uh, Hey, look, 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 yeah. So <laughs> my thing is though, everybody. Being saying, or a lot of people being knowing, y'all been waiting on y'all chance to 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 even say something. That's even like the shit that we got going on on No Jumper. If we say anything bad, niggas is waiting to say anything bad about us right now. Yeah. Controversy brings, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, so Diddy, if you did, if you did it, I mean, <laughs> we we rooting for you, black man. I just seen some shit that made me realize we shouldn't <clears throat> want to throw you to the wolves. The crazy, uh, the crazy thing about it is when you're a person like Diddy, 
that got all that money, all that power and shit, it's so easy for anybody, male or female, to come and say, me too. Yeah. Right. He did that to me too. Right. He did this to me too. Did he probably ain't never seen him in his fucking life. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But they but could do it. And did he, he probably, not, he probably, and did he not going to remember? Mm -hmm. Damn, though. That nigga Lil Rod up situation. is going in, though. Lil Rod going crazy. Lil oh, Rod, you know what's cut. Lil Rod, though, you... He take it every... Yeah. He like Takashi. Yeah, if you... He if take it if everybody. You, if it wasn't this bad for Diddy right now, you Lil Rod be dealt with. For real. <laughs> Lil Rod be... They be having a fishing rod. Uh, Lil Rod is crazy. definitely hiding somewhere. Nigga... Yeah, so this is this is what's going on right now. Keep going, keep going. Let me see something else. I know we had a couple things pulled up, Bernard. Couple links pulled up. Y'all see what's going on. Welcome to the CEO podcast, creating every opportunity. And you know, every chance I get, I'm cripping every opportunity. Big C's. I'm bringing <laughs> CEOs to the to the table. Y'all gonna see some more some more dope ass people coming this motherfucker because I'm really like you know. You know, arms reach. Everybody in the niggas arms reach. And then my co-host got reach. If he ain't got reach, he definitely got reach. I got and if they ain't reach. got dough, I definitely got dough. <laughs> you know, so that's how. Oh, hold on. Let's read some of these. We got to read some shit. They been yeah, sending yeah, some yeah. money up in here, cuz? Yep, they sent some money. Why you didn't tell me that? Right, we supposed to, we supposed to be in Holiday Gym. All right, what? let's see what's going on. <laughs> Go ahead. Y'all can crack it off. It's it. Oh, yeah. Um... I can't even read that name, but they say, "Oh yeah, righteous Nick." Yeah. Oh, the name Tell the is, truth. Who the is architect Dosage is? Mine? Dosage Mind donated five dollars, and he said, "Oh yeah, righteous Nick. Tell the truth. Who the architect is?" Uh, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. Who's that person named? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't see the name. Pull the names out. Live with Sam C. <clears throat> Live with, with Sam C. C. Okay, let's see. Live with Sam C. Now that's the way you kick off a live podcast. Y'all got the gold in the building. Shout out Nick and DW and the new host. Bop. Appreciate yeah, you. Appreciate, appreciate you. That's appreciate you, Sam. I'm going to that positivity. Off, I'm going to kick it off every time I kick it off. Move Go it up. Ahead. Move Go it up to the next one. Go ahead. This one is JJ102125. You can tell Nick <laughs> toward the Long <laughs> Beach out of flame. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? What the like fuck that mean? Like he made you soft or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He made me a little smarter for sure. For yeah, sure. smarter for sure. And the, hey, nothing could tear, tear the Long Beach out of me. You sound dumb. You going to have to tear Long Beach up before you tear Long Beach out of me. You hear me? Okay, go ahead. See, uh, he got a Nick Cannon to explain. What? That's dosage. Dosage my Dougie. Dosage my Dougie. He only donated saying. two. We don't, we don't read those. Well, guys. you need to lower your dosage. Yeah, my we Dougie. don't read those. No, nah, just playing with you. Uh, what? What's that? Um, uh, John John. Let me see. John John Five. What's the best book at Howard University Library uh, to read? We were at uh, Howard uh, University. I be up in that motherfucker with a backpack. I gotta go there whenever Nick go do the seminars. Uh, I don't know the best book. You gotta tell us, and then we'll post that and the <clears throat> author. Mm -hmm. Trap House TV. DW, the next one up. No Diddy. Hold it down for the West. <laughs> Big shout out from Port Arthur, yeah, Texas. Zan going. Princess. You so lovely. Oh, okay. Whoa, she's so lovely. Do we know Juice Cuts? Fly, what's that? Fly D. Fly D. T. 2K. Do we know? Uh, do D -W, we know D W and P nine. Do we bro. know Juice Cut? Shout out Juice. Shout out Juice City Cuts, the hottest barber around that I know. Okay. You feel me? Shout out to my nigga Twist too. We get my five right. Also, shout out Stutterbox too. Shout out Flybird SD too, my barber nigga. Yeah, Hold on. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. Shout out, shout out Shadi nigga. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Back to this Diddy subject. What's going on? No Diddy. Hey, y'all. That's fucked up. What y'all doing? Praying for with everybody his name. involved. Because it's too funny. It's, it's like because yeah. he's he's a funny dude. Oh, then he's got God. you know what I mean. Remember when the fucking um, I forgot that comedian thing, Kevin Hart. Yeah. You seen that clip when Kevin Hart was like, "You said the wrong." It was Kevin Hart, Usher, and Diddy. Mm. And Diddy said he woke up with Usher to eat to, to wrestle over That's cereal. That's nuts. Diddy been saying a lot of stuff. <laughs> and like for Kevin a long Hart was time. like, "You shouldn't have What's said that." What's the next one? Let me see. Let me see the other. What's, What's the, the next clip? One? Diddy been saying a lot of stuff for a long time. <laughs> Oh, his, oh, that little nigga. His yeah. neighbor right here. Uh, Manchester say he managed the young nigga right here. 
Oh, he do? Um, he wanted to get him on the show, but I'll let him know. Um, well, shit, if his music good, I'll check it out and then show him some appreciation. But he said he was just being funny at the end of the day. He had to do it. Right, right, right. <laughs> I would He I got his clout though. Him. He got his clout he though. Going viral right I ain't gonna lie, now. that nigga going viral right as a motherfucker. Now. I would I would shot you out, but shout out to Manchester. He said that's his artist right there. So he just was playing and shit. Yeah, okay. he was just playing, but yeah, shout him out. He seen his moment for virality and went up. Okay. Oh, you know who been on Diddy? Who? Oh, 50. 50 been on Diddy. Boy. And he been on Boy. Jay-Z. He should have never been his been name on mama. Uh, Stevie J. Hey, 50 and Cent. Hey, hey, 50 Cent, you watching this, cuz? you stupid. Hey, cuz. Nigga never want to be on your bad side. That's cause. crazy. Never. <laughs> Honestly, 50 Cent is planning out his next right. show. That is a troll of this trolls, is nigga. This is a show. Hey, he said, this is a movie, though. You better not fuck around he and make have no Daphne fucking movie like that. Hey, 50, come fuck with us, cuz. Come yeah. sit right here on this couch, nigga. Oh, I'll let us hey, troll all them niggas. Young Miami, too. You ain't got to go through all that. You ain't got to go through all that that you're going through over there. <laughs> you could deliver the pink to see to the east. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, nah, nah, nah. Actually, I've been thinking like people been doing too much to young Miami. Yeah, bro. Because look, it says she's transporting for him. Like, Look, bro, them, them words, transport, make it seem like she's like right. carrying big, big, big right. kilos and shit. Right, right, right. You feel me? They got a little personal But people don't usage. know. People don't know. She could be, he could be over here. She could be over here. She could just take and him And I a could bit. be like, bring me the- A little personal use. Yeah. And she transported. Like, come on, bro. Stop playing with her All like y'all is transporting. Let's and keep she this from real. Miami and Tusi is the major. Yeah, really look, yeah. y'all stop playing. All y'all people who really off the drugs and really be doing drugs and- Y'all shouldn't even want to promote our our people like that, or even just a young artist coming up like that, um, with no bullshit. You see, she been trying to keep her name just For out real. the bullshit. Even if she still fuck with Diddy, she ain't right. been trying to keep her name in no bullshit over some some accusations he been dealing with for years. That's yeah. only because they was publicly known. Yeah. That's it. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, one thing I gotta clip? do. Let oh. me. See. Oh my gosh. Yay! What's oh. Yay, I I love Kanye West. Yeah. I love Kanye West. I love him. But too. he been he been uh Yay is yay, dog. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, yay, yay is yay. Yay is, is yay. Yay is not a nay. Yay don't give a fuck. Yay don't give a fuck. I just seen <laughs> Yay say he 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 bigger than Kendrick. He the he the nigga over Kendrick and Drake, nigga. Fuck all that. <laughs> yay is I don't even bigger know. than Drake. And Kendrick, he said, yeah, he said he he shouldn't know both of them niggas basically. Shit, I ain't go. I mean, you know, I don't know, I don't know Drake, bro. Though. You're not shitting. On I'm gonna Drake. say, I'm gonna say, neck and neck. Lyrically, Kendrick is like the shit, right? But Drake is huge. Ye is huge. So, I think Drake is the more likable person. Out Drake of for sure is the more likable person, but as far as like being bigger. I think Ye will be bigger because right, not just it, not just music business. His bag was up bigger. I, even though they put a dent in, cause shit, he's smart enough. I'm sure Ye still got a lot of fucking money, but they put a good dent. In, Ray, they Ray blackballed him for a minute, for real. <clears throat> Ye smart as fuck, nigga. I he feel did, like he chose that though. He, he went crazy. He went crazy like that on purpose, nigga. So yeah. them niggas could drop him from all that he shit, so, so he could come all back that shit he's with saying, his own shit. If you listen to what he be saying though, he be saying some shit about all these artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he be saying some like so I don't know. He kind of fucked up. I would say this industry fucks you up if you um if you let it. If you let it. If you don't get a hold of yourself real early and don't let yeah, yourself go like too it. far and don't do too many favors. Facts. Niggas out here That's doing how you end favors. Up being broke. Yeah, but no, I'm talking about the type of favors that end up on tape. Oh yeah, yeah, type yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Type of favors that. that you know that niggas, niggas that. feel guilty about and go crazy. Right. Not saying yay, yeah, you got that, it's but other people. Right. it's other people who fake went crazy. It's a fact. All yeah. right, we can move from this. Let me show y'all something right now. I got, I got, this is what I do. Every fucking artist out there, everybody who got shit booming out there, I don't know about these other niggas, these other podcasts, these other artists. I'm showing love. You feel me? I'm showing love. I'm letting the world know if you really good. If you not good, beat it. <laughs> Head homies, you can get up out of here with all that. I'm gonna keep it G with you. Um, I don't care how much your people want to pay for you to come in. And your shit get noticed on here. If it's not that good, or if you ain't really got a tough hustle on your shit, I'm not really gonna support it because that's just like a friend who 
hey, today I rap. Yeah. Right, exactly. Today I do this. You like, got to okay, do something. You do everything every time. So, but yeah, I'm giving opportunity for all the new talent, all the new artists, everybody. It don't matter where you from. Don't matter what genre. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm showing love. So right here, I got um, artist appreciation and to shine light on artists. Right here. I don't know if you got it lined up. You, line, you got my shit lined up? Yeah. First artist right here. Let me know when you ready. It's called Hurricane Wizard. Wherever you come from. Yeah. So it is a different place. Maybe Cuba, Island, wherever. I like um, that. Shout out Hurricane Wisdom. That shit hot. Yeah, uh, I think out. I learned from it from an app on, um, I mean, from Instagram. Next right here. Hold on, pause. Next right here. Hold on. <laughs> this this story, I got somebody else I need yeah, to look at real out, quick. On okay, okay. Oh, no, no. On that one, I could clear, though. That's Nick Artie. Okay, okay, that's a bet. So this is Trey Two Three right here. This is one of the best artists out that's in LA right now. Fucking like when it come to vibes, bro, mm -hmm. and his work ethic. When he go in that studio, he just come up with it off top and walk straight in. Yeah, take that down, put that in your phone on everything. That's what Hurricane I'm doing right wisdom, now. Crazy. Take it back to my um. But yeah, Hurricane Wisdom. Survive. I be having the coldest playlist too, nigga. What's up with all my good people? Hey, look. This is showing none of that weird shit. Ain't no strange shit. You ain't got a second guess if we telling the truth on this motherfucker. We telling the truth on this motherfucker. And we keeping it real. We ain't giving bullshit no passes. This is a no politicking zone. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about no gang shit because we ain't never really been worried about no gang shit. Hold on. Pause right there. Shout out Long Beach G. Will. Go back to the, uh, he just, the comments. Shout out my brother. That's my other brother. That's our oldest brother right there. Long Beach E. Will. What do he say? Shout out to my little brothers. DW and P. Nice. Love y'all. And play my music. Crip Street. Oh, got okay. you, big bro. Hey, look, look. <laughs> Next week, I'm finna unleash the high shit of uh, E. Will. That's my brother. He been singing in the fucking house since I was little <laughs> and getting on my motherfucking nerves. Cause... Hey, every day. <laughs> but what I can say is, this is off you know what I'm saying? Topic, but he got me my first piece of Wooty Whoop. Yeah, you got what is Wooty Whoop? The Wooty Whoop. The Wooty. You know. Wooty. I you know, heard used to be looking through windows. Yeah, what is She got me like, you know, he got me my first piece. Me. Yeah. I heard y'all looking through the window on my sis. I'm going to bring my sis up here next <laughs> week. <laughs> hey, bro. But yeah, yeah. Uh, let's scroll it down real fast. Okay, uh -huh. so this is the CEO show. Shout out Adam. Shout out everybody. Shout out Nick Cannon. Shout out y'all too, you know, for becoming part of the show. Of yeah, course, of course, bro. Um, we gonna keep it going. We gonna keep this shit cracking. We gonna get more raw, and we gonna let, um, we gonna bring more big guests on this motherfucker. Yeah. And besides that, we ain't gonna keep we ain't gonna keep sitting down. We finna get creative in this motherfucker. Oh, we we, finna, this have, we finna have it cracking in this motherfucker. Certain nights we gonna have it shaking in this motherfucker. Yeah. You hear me? It's up. Bleed you know that. Yeah. It's up. You could come here. It's up. You could come here to find out the hottest strip clubs in LA. It's <laughs> up. I'm gonna start sending. I'm gonna start sending somebody undercover in every strip club in LA, and they're gonna let us know which one the hottest, which one's really doing something, which one you need to go to, and don't waste your time. And what? And if you want to know the ones where they go, where you could go and they go with you, yeah. I'm gonna put you on some. Strange for a piece yeah. of change. <laughs> <laughs> some strange for a piece of time. Hey, get some food sponsors up in here. You we, know what I'm hey, saying? Like, the, talk your shit. Y'all want y'all food eaten. You want it critiqued by the best. You know what I mean? Just, mm. you know, you know who to hit up. DW. Yeah. Hit up the show. You can hit me up. You can hit him up. Yeah. Hit us up. You Nigga, don't say, bring me, bring bring don't, hold on, bro. Bring don't say, food. don't say hit him up. Say, ah, I'm sorry. say P nice, nigga. Hit, hit up P put, nice. Hit the P up. Put some yeah. shit on my name, Hit the P up. I forgot to do it for like two seconds. Besides that, and then also on top of that, I'm going to start letting you know all the hottest DJs on the West Coast, mm -hmm. all the hottest producers, the people that niggas think we forget about, DW ain't forgot about y'all. We gonna, we gonna let y'all know all the hottest producers giving all the hottest beats out who really behind all the music on the West Coast. Yeah. And then shout, I'm gonna shout out all the DJs who actually play West Coast music. Right. You feel me? Right. And then I'm gonna keep the clothing 
cracking for sure. I got Sugar Hill on for sure. Be if it so. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna let too many people bring that clothing line up here if it ain't mine or it ain't Sugar Hill uh, or if it ain't none of ours. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna keep it locked just like that, nigga. This is CEO show. Big C. Out. Big old ones. This is P Nice, nigga. CEOs. Okay. Yeah.